miss going to the movies with him. I miss our late night drives to 7-Eleven or just on the freeway. I miss a lot about him. There's not just, you know, one single thing. Just Joseph. Joseph just in general. Yes. Joseph. If there was one thing in this world that someone would give me, I'd ask for Joseph. Every day he's right here, and every day, not a day goes by, I don't cry. I don't let anyone see it. I have a good heart to cry. And I wonder how this could happen. How am I supposed to survive this? I just want my son back and I can't have him. But he's not here anymore. But I'm glad he helped everybody. But I do miss him like crazy. I don't know even what to say to him. I just miss bouncing around the house when I'd be asleep. He'd just come and jump on top of me and just like wake me up. Nobody else. That's my brother. That's the only one he did like that. He was the only one able to do that to me other than anybody else in the family. We got along great. We did pretty much everything the same thing. Computers, guess firearms. We got along pretty well. We had our moments. He was just a sweet, handsome man. He was a hero and we all loved him. He's very patient and everything and it's like he didn't put you down. He didn't, he was, a loving person. He he loved his family and everything, his friends, and he just, if he needed something, he was there. He was just there. But of all people besides my family, and I want to thank, I want to thank Jill from Tips. If it wasn't for her, we would have never, or I would have never made it through this. And I guarantee my family feels the same way. She never claimed to know the pain. She never claimed to know anything. But if I needed a hug or just wanted to fall apart, Jill was always right there. If I want to call her and vent, she's right there. Well, Jill, from the bottom of my heart, from my family, we all love you with all our hearts and thank you. And Christian, thank you for being there too. We love you.